Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you the fastest way to get money in Simpsons Hit and Run. So if you do these things, you'll be able to unlock basically everything in the game in just a few hours. Okay, so there's just a couple of things you need to do. You need to be on level 1, you need to find this wage race over here, and you need the book burning van. So really quickly, I just want to emphasize the importance of the van. So how wage races work in this game is depending on the vehicle, there's actually a different payout. The heavy vehicles pay more. So, there are just a couple of cars in that category. The only two that I would even remotely recommend is the donut truck and the book burning van. But in my experience, the book burning van is the easiest. Okay, so now if we go over to the swage race, you can see that because we have a difficulty of hard, we actually get 80 coins for this race instead of 40 or 60. So this might seem really simple, but this is genuinely the best way to make money. And I unlocked all the items in the game in maybe like two hours. So just to kind of show how much money you could possibly make, I'm going to go ahead and maybe do 10 minutes of this wage races and we'll see how much money we can grab currently. Um, let's see how much money I have right now. I think if I kick this over, it'll give me exactly 45, 50. We have 50 coins to start out with. I'm going to start the timer um, the second we start the first race and let's see how much money I can make in just like 10 minutes. And you guys can follow this path if you want. This is probably the easiest path for this race here. Um, I mean, this is the level 1 race, so it's never going to be, like, you know, super hard. And many of you are probably better drivers than even I am. Um, but this is the general cycle of how I do it. You can do a little drift in here to make it perfect, just like that. It's a little hard to do, but you can hit that drift if you want. I don't recommend this jump for that exact reason. You can almost fail it really, really badly, but you could do another little drift here, but again, more than likely you're going to hit the wall. You have to try to time this out. Half the time, it doesn't particularly work, but here's the thing about this race and why it's so good as a wage race, because... You're basically guaranteed 60 coins at the end of it. And the chance of failing the race is very, very low. Even with a, you know, a heavy car that's slow. They give you like over 3 minutes, really. And you can get this race done while crashing and everything in like 2.45. So the actual chances of you failing this race are fairly low. Um, the chance of you getting the cops called on you are there you know they're not going to disappear but as long as you're like a somewhat decent driver and you don't hit every pedestrian you know the cops don't really get called on you now the one area where the cops get called on me a lot is around this area here um right here is where i get the usually cops called on me but the nice part is this big open road here it's fairly easy to avoid the cops because it's such a large wide road so, even when you do get the cops called on you, um, you can often just get away with them. And it's, once again, why I recommend specifically the Book Burning Van. Because um, this is by far, I think, one the fastest hard mode car, um, but it has the best handling. That's why I mentioned that the other car you can use is the, the, the Donut car, but... For me, that one is probably a little bit faster, but its handling is much worse. So you see that if you're just somewhat of a decent driver, you can basically make um, the coins in about 2, two minutes, 2.30, um, up to 3 minutes. Um, now, what's also nice about this race is that it's a long race where you go past all of the windows that you can smash, and you guys know... Well, I hope you guys know, the really the the best way to make money other than these races is to break windows. Just run around the map, break windows, let them respawn. With this race, you tend to run past all of the windows of this map. So, along with the 60 coins that you make from the race, you also make all of the coins from all of the windows that you break, which can add up a lot. You guys saw there, um, I think we had 140 something coins at the end of that one. So, we ended up making like 90-something coins, even though the wager itself is only 60 gold. So, you know, 
it ends up being almost 90 gold, you know, probably 80, 90, in about two minutes. So if you do the simple math of like, you know, you could, with, you know, talking to the guy again, you could probably do this race a solid maybe 20 times in an hour. And if you do 20 times 90, oh boy, my math is going to get bad here. I think that's 1800, right? So you could make 1800 coins in an hour. And the game itself, it's, I think you need around 14,000 to 15,000 to grab everything in the game. But now, obviously, throughout the game, you'll also be collecting coins. So by the end of my game, I really only needed an extra probably 4,000 coins. So, like I said, if you play the game kind of how I did, and only need about 4,000 coins at the end of it, you could almost, you know, just play the game like normal, do this for maybe two and a half hours at most, and you'll be able to get all of the items in the game. It's as simple as that. Again, a lot of people... Things happen. A lot of people recommend just doing the window method, but this is way faster. I guarantee you this is way faster. The fastest way in the entire game by far, and I can almost like put my put my mom on that because you know you're not gonna find a faster way. So we're about two races deep, probably around five minutes in, but we'll see. We'll we'll just keep driving. And again, you guys have seen that I'm not a perfect driver. I've hit people. I've like had to stop, and it's not even anywhere close to me failing the race itself you know things like that happen what are you gonna do in the end you have to remember that you are driving a, like a heavy vehicle one of the hard mode ones so you know these things are bigger slower a little harder to drive sometimes so it'll happen you'll 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 hit cars but again the thing with the other wage races I think the thing that made them not profitable for me was the fact that this is also the easiest map to do a wager on. All the other maps are more densely populated with people and objects, uh, which that's good for getting gold from hitting things, but the problem is you get the cops called on you very often. And you know, in those races, yeah, you could probably make slightly more money if you win it, but the races are harder, and more than likely you're gonna get caught by a cop. So. You know, your wages could be like, you know, maybe 150 coins a win, but a third of the wins, you're losing 50 coins. And then maybe you lose one every in five races or one every four races. So you end up probably making less than you do with this one. So that's just my opinion. I think this is by far the easiest way. I wasn't thinking. Woo! I threw that boy into the graveyard later, my guy. So, I think we're three races deep here, and by the end of this, we should have at least 300 coins. So yeah, um, I know a lot of people probably don't have the patience to do this, because, again, it still takes about, you know, two hours, three hours to do, but I guarantee you, you won't, you won't find a faster way to make money. The only faster way to make money... Is sadly not um, not repeatable so the best way to make money is obviously to find boxes to find vending machines but those don't come back so once you make that money you have to basically either break objects or do wage races and this is by far the easiest way so okay so you can see we're how what are we at? I've only been playing like what six six minutes and we already have 300 coins, and 300 coins might not might, might not sound like a lot, but you have to think about it. even the most expensive cars in this game are like a thousand. It's really what you're racing for 20 minutes, and you can make that. You know, Whew, I actually just grinded on that building. See, I don't know what my timer was at. <laughs> I told you guys I would do 10 minutes. What I might end up doing is just doing four races. And we'll see what I, how fast I can do these four races, and then how much money I can get. 
And then I'll give you guys like a realistic counter of, you know, I'll do the math. And you guys can see how much money you can actually make. There we go, last one. Try to make this a fast one. But yeah, I think one of the most common mistakes that new players have, or just players that maybe aren't paying as much as attention, is that they're doing this wage race because it seems simple, like, oh, it's the easiest one, I'll just do it over and over again. But they do it with a really, really fast vehicle, like their favorite car. But again, the payout for that is 40 instead of the 80. So, you know, you end up 20 to, get, to even go in the race. So you're making, what, 20 coins every minute? instead of 60 coins every two minutes along with all the breakable objects so I don't know it just seems oh okay here's an example of the police but again this is a fairly wide road it's not that hard to run away from them if they come over here you can just jump right over them and really the only hard part is maybe this little corner right here you can get caught but you just have to be a little careful and again, I did the other three races without even getting the cops called on me, so it's not its not super hard to avoid the cops if you're paying attention. If you're just doing this on autopilot, then yeah, you'll get caught by the cops once or twice, but... Alright, let's see. This is the fourth race. Go and finish this. Maybe we can do... Um, I think we're at like the nine minute mark, so we're going a little over. But I'm just going to go ahead and do one more race, see how much we can go, how much we can do. And then we'll see from there. And one more race. No. I'm teaching my brothers and sisters at home how to get money. How to get the bag quick. Bop. Happens. Whoop. Out of control indeed. See if I can hit this nasty slide. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I'm nasty. Let's let's not do the jump this time. Not risk it. Bop. I never hit this one right here. Oh, but I'm nasty. Yeah, and there's wrenches all along the way, so you, it's a very small chance of you actually, you know, blowing yourself up. But yeah, it's really weird to me that. The fastest way to make money in the game involves the book burning van out of all vehicles. It's weird, but yeah, the book burning van by far out of all of the hard mode vehicles stands out as the best. So obviously, here, I'll give you guys your other options. Whoops. Your, your other options are the armored car, Cletus's pickup van, um, the fire truck, the cola, the cola van. Um, obviously the book burning van and the donut truck. If I remember correctly, that's all of them. There might be one or two on that list that I didn't name. You could also just Google it. Um, but if you guys notice, like the, the armored van, the Cletus' uh, truck, the fire truck, the cola van, those are all like way too heavy. And they're slow. While the book burning van is, for some reason in this hard category but it's not actually very hard to drive and it's fairly fast actually which is the most surprising part I got lucky that the cops spawned on the other side of the road that kinda helped me get away from them right there okay, this is gonna be oh okay another fairly lucky spawn right there again you wanna make sure to break all these windows it just gets you extra money. You can even break this one if you want. There we go. So, I'm, I'm going to claim that's probably around 10 minutes. I was probably... Bruh, Homer. So, I was probably like 11, 12 minutes right there. You can see we have over 500 coins. And, again, if you really play the game and finish it, you're only going to need probably three, 000, 4 4,000 by the end of the game. And we did that 500 coins in 10 minutes. So... Yep, that is the fastest way to make money in Simpsons Hit and Run. If you know of a faster one, please let me know, because I don't think it exists. Um, I hope this helps. Um, go ahead, 100% this game. 
very rewarding. Thanks for watching, guys.